<laughs> Shout out to Paramount Plus. That's really the best streaming app, yo. I get all them old Nickelodeon shows for real. Hey, shout out to you for paying for streaming apps. <laughs> them shits hey. is really fucking me over. I don't know what's worse, yo. HBO Max, which is $15, or YouTube, which is like 17 something a month. Dude, what is you paying for HBO Max for? What I don't know. I don't even use it. I literally don't use it. Hey, they just, they just dropped Step Brothers on there, so worth it. Overrated movie. Overrated movie. All right, bro. I'm going to be honest hey, with y'all. Step Brothers might be funnier than Super Bad. All right. Overrated movie. It's just a bunch of curses. You it's have just 40-year-olds with Tourette's. That's I what like, Step Brothers um, is. I like Semi Pro more than Step Brothers. That's my favorite Will Ferrell. Ooh, movie. that's a good one. <laughs> hey, that's Andre, my favorite Will Ferrell movie. Andre 3000 need a supporting uh, Oscar for that movie. I swear. He played that role <laughs> a little bit too good. <laughs> oh, I uh, I'm worried. I I got the little logo flip going. Hey man, SFS podcast episode eighty two. Eighty two. I can't think of a basketball player that wears eighty two. Hey. My dad graduated high school in eighty two. He old as shit. So the NBA, that's the only thing I think of. The what NBA the length fuck? episode eighty two games. That's crazy. My dad graduated high school forty years ago. G. 82. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> my That's parents crazy. graduated in 92. <laughs> my dad old as Betty White. Damn. <laughs> is my yo, I feel like my mic is way too loud, but hey, we're gonna deal with it, I guess. <laughs> Chloe got the mic set up too. Justin just talking through his phone speaker, cause you know, that's how high schoolers do. Mm. That's it's, just, it's your boy at Nico still SFS. Follow me everywhere and if you're listening to this go to my youtube at nico still apex on youtube until i get the sfs podcast youtube back all the podcast video episodes will be uploaded on my youtube at nico still apex on youtube if you want to watch me amp and banks react to the most ridiculous wrestling match of this year and that's all i gotta say on that how y'all doing this week i'm good i'm chilling i'm chilling um... I had a show on the what day was that? The seventeenth? Yeah, that's what was that crazy. two days ago? Yeah. So if I'm if my voice sounds a little bit hoarse, forgive me. Yo, that's crazy. I can imagine like you know how like you ever try this is gonna sound crazy. You ever try to scream? Like scream so much that like you about to throw up or something like that? Like yeah. is that how it feel after performing? You be like, yo, I'm about to throw up, son. Hey, damn near! I be I be out of breath, all kind of shit. <laughs> That's wild. Like singers must have it the worst. Like I can imagine, just oh, I gotta sip, I gotta sip three cups of tea today, just so my voice is right for two for the next concert or whatever. Really, all you need is one cup of tea for real. That's all you need. <coughs> <coughs> They named T after my favorite rapper, (coughs) Earl Grey. (laughs) Imagine I was like Saw Baby flavored. What? What would that be? (coughs) Dick. All right. All right. (laughs) (coughs) Hey. So, Chloe had a show. That's fire. We seen some videos. Yeah. He was going crazy. I fucking jumped <laughs> on the chair, and then I did a 360 jump off that bitch. Like, I didn't even know I was going to – I didn't even know I was going to land that. Like, What's the like, – uh, what was, was the saying? mic wireless? Cincinnati Julio? No, the, the mic was not wireless, so <laughs> I only had a few – I only had a few little steps I could make. But um, it was a little bar <laughs> sitting, so I just jumped on the chair and then jumped off. Jumped off when the beat dropped. <laughs> hey, it's about the show you put on, right? You feel me? <laughs> yeah, honestly. Imagine I'm... you just stood there like this the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> that's how some people be. And I'm not one of them people. If you ever see in a Chloe Hotline show, it's going to it's gonna be one of the best performances you've ever seen in your life. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. I got to hit that one more time. Uh-huh. 
I did, that's gonna be low as shit. I did a you? bunch of new shit, like sw- like switching from rapping to singing on stage is so damn hard. Like back and forth, and then you running out of breath. And then of course I got, of course I got after the show I got one of them comments like, "Yo, shit should be on the radio. You like a, you like a trans Drake, bro." Like, trans Drake is crazy. <laughs> Trans yeah. Drake is crazy. They couldn't think of no other rapper. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, just because I rap and sing, y'all, that's fucked up. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. They're like, oh my god, you're like uh, Trans Jaleel. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Name me one song that sounds like this. <laughs> nah. Um, I got more variety in my music than Jaleel, and I can say that. I can say that with. We going with um. We going deep into this, but we're like, how do you prepare a set list? Do you start with hype songs, slow songs, your favorite songs? Um, like how you go into that? I usually like to keep it a mix. Like, I maybe do, I maybe do a few hype ones in a row, and then like a slow one in the middle. You know, a little variety. I always like to close out the set with like a hype song, mm-hmm. so people can leave off on a good note. Like. Yo, did y'all just see that? She fucking went crazy. Yeah. And that's, when I jumped, that's when I jumped on the chair. I did uh, Lingo. That song is <clears throat> old as fuck, but people go crazy. I seen like, the little... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh. Hey, you know, I'm from, you know I'm from the Midwest. I had to do that one. Hey, you got some crowd one. reaction, too, when you did that shit. <laughs> they was like, hey. Yeah, I definitely had to bust that move out. But overall, it was a good night. I had my homegirl. Uh, I had two of my homies perform. I had my homegirl Cunt Pills. She's Cunt like, oh, Pills. She like a man. She like Janet Jackson level performer. Like some whole other shit, pop music. Like, and then I had um, and I had this artist XD perform, which we went to middle school together. So it was damn near like a family reunion. Like everybody that I went to fucking ninth Mob tenth ties. grade with back, like at the show and shit, watched me go crazy. I'm like, damn, like I didn't even know y'all fucking me like that. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Hey, what's the group name? Is it Drench? Is it Drench Way? What? what? Drench. 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 Drench Way, but it's Drench Way. That's the label. Then we got oh, Drench that's the Media. label. Then we got Drench Media, which is the governing company over all of it. Then we got Drench Films, and then we got Drench Gaming too on the slick. And I'm coming out with that. I'm coming out with some gaming content soon too. So we got the OnlyFans. Uh, we got the OnlyFans oh, account and, and. drenched. Drenched. <laughs> it just squared us on there. <laughs> and like I said, I was saying this before we started the pod, but Counterfeit three year anniversary collection is dropping in five days, the twenty fourth. <laughs> so this shirt will be available along with some other items. This shirt in different colors too. We got it on black. We got it on navy. You know, Nico over there coughing, but I'm gonna get this promo off. <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of thing, a lot of things going this summer. Uh, May thirty first, show in Chicago. I mean, show in Columbus. June tenth, show in Chicago. And we keeping it rolling like that. <coughs> May twenty ninth, Columbus. May that was that's the thirty first. That's the thirty first. Oops. I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to what I say, y'all. All right. Hey. I might on be, to hey, the music. And I'm finna be in New York this summer. I'm going to be there next month, y'all. We got to make something happen. Oh, yeah. We outside. We No, we for sure. We outside. Watch. <laughs> we're, going to, <coughs> we're going to New York to bully Sachi. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do and it. And I'm really sanctioned. Hang him by his ankles. Like he's gonna be like, "What do you got?" And I'm sanctioned with all the gang, so I'll, I'll let y'all come. We're going, even though he's six foot five, we're gonna hang him by his ankles, and we're gonna take his uh, Supreme wallet chain. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Supreme, Supreme, y'all weird, y'all. Why y'all selling nipple clamps on your website? Y'all some freaks. Y'all because some they freaks. Know, they know who they audience is now. <laughs> you think they give a fuck about skaters these days? No. Bruh, I just watched the White Man Can't Jump movie. I might talk about this later, but I just wanted to say it separately now. I just watched a White Man Can't Jump movie. Seen Mad Supreme in there. I was kind of disappointed. Motherfuckers yeah. hooping with Supreme arm sleeves and shit. I seen a little bit of that shit earlier. The rude shorts that you have are in that movie. 
Yeah, I seen that too, and I was like, "Damn, do I really want to wear these? How are motherfuckers basketball playing basketball in three hundred dollar fucking shorts, bro?" Right, like that shit is unreal. On, like, I forget, when he, when they was in the gym the first time, he had on like these multicolored pants. Like, bro, did Cactus Flea Plant just 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 uniform y'all? Like, what's going on here? Yeah, they was too fly to be hooping. Like Vince Staples got the rude hoodie on. Like, bro, that shit is like five hundred dollars. There's no way you're playing basketball in that. I wear my root shorts once a month, yo. I swear, I only see like old heads and like sports related people wear root. Like it's <laughs> it's a boat it's a boat company. Like, it was a yacht company, yeah. It it's yeah. But, oh, so that's like that's like how Forgiato makes t shirts now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They make like the race the racing gear and shit, like them shits, I was like, these motherfuckers playing basketball, bro. These bitches so expensive. I don't even fart in them. <laughs> I don't even fart in these shorts, yo. And these motherfuckers putting up 15, 5, and 3 in them bitches. Sweating them hoes straight out. All the material. Other than that, I didn't think the movie was bad from what I saw so far. <laughs> I didn't think it was bad either. Like, I Oh, Jack Harlow's in it. It's terrible. I wasn't a fan of the OG white man can't jump, like. I kind of think it's a stupid concept these days. We know white people could play basketball. It's not really that much of a novelty. It's a like, lot. It was a me? lot of. It was a lot of race in that shit. It was yeah, a lot like, of. Oh, nobody talks about race no more. And then they make a race joke thirty seconds later. Like, <laughs> that's the only downside to it. I feel like it wasn't really needed in twenty twenty three. But it's a writer strike going on, you feel me? So I get it. Make them remakes. Do what y'all got to do to get paid, I guess. It felt like a sports version of that Jonah Hill and and Lauren London movie. <laughs> That's what that <laughs> shit felt like. That's what it felt like. It's like comedies nowadays are just Twitter jokes and trending topics at the time. That's what comedies are nowadays. Basically, they was talking hey, about I like everything. That Jonah Hill movie. Ah, right. How do I kick him? All right, uh, just me and Chloe this episode. No, that's crazy. Uh, it just like everything is just. I hear jokes that I see that I could see scrolling through Twitter, like just by the setup. There was a couple scenes in there that got me though. There was a scene where they uh was trying to uh scheme people to like make money, so they were making Jack Harlow look extra white and trash at basketball, so they could like go stupid and get money off them. Bro, one of the people they're playing against, Jack Harlow was like, bro, don't he look like Malcolm X? That shit got kind of got me, bro. I was crying because, bro, they were playing against him look just like Malcolm X, bro. That's crazy. Bro, and then they did, like, a whole, like, like monologue off that shit. That shit was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. And then um, the original, you remember the original where dude gets snuffed and he pulls the gun out? Yes, I do. Bruh, they flipped it in this one, but the, instead the motherfucker pulled out a flamethrower, yo. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> I didn't get that far into the movie. That was probably the funniest part so far, yo. I almost fell out of my seat. That shit was funny as fuck, bruh. Mm. <laughs> he was walking. They said, oh, he going to his car. Oh, he's going to the car. The bitch walk out. She goes, oh, damn, this motherfucker got a flamethrower. And then he pulled out that <laughs> shit. I was like, yo. I was like, this is crazy. At least they're trying to like. <coughs> at least they're trying to pay homage to the original, you know. Yeah. Unlike that bullshit ass house party movie. <laughs> that that house party was movie terrible. was great. That shit that was, was ass. Great. They made LeBron a cop caller at the end, bro. Fuck out of here. <laughs> LeBron put two. LeBron put two basically innocent black men in jail. Fuck out of here. That movie sucks. See, I ain't even. I ain't even bother watching it. They made LeBron a fed in that, that movie. That movie was bro. great. They made him play basketball <laughs> against the dudes that threw a party in his house, and if he lost, they, he would call the cops on him. Boo! That shit out what of here. What kind of shit? What kind of shit is that? And then, and then LeBron scores the la- the game winning shot and goes, "And where are you going to jail?" That's what he says after after he scores the game winning shot. I was like, "All right." This, he scored it, and li- lightning and thunder was going off. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, the one line he was like, "Man, I'm a goat," and then gives him the side eye. I was like, "All right, all right." He Ain't made them put wrong. that in there. He made them put that in there in the script. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. 
I'm there's a lot of remakes coming out. Like what the fuck? We got a house party and a white man can jump remake this year. What are we getting? Pain in full next? Probably. <laughs> Pain in full with uh Playboy Cardi and Baby Keem. And Baby Keem is playing Cameron. New Jack City 2. Wait, Bow Wow already made that. <laughs> New Jack City 2 starring Chris Rock. Delonte West as Chris as Pookie. All right. That was terrible. <laughs> Who's it? Starring little uh starring Lil Wop as Pookie. All right. Wow. Except except a drug a drug addiction. He just got a porn addiction. <laughs> it keep calling me, man. And it's just him on Pornhub. All right, all right. All right, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's her on Pornhub. Apparently, apparently Lil oh. Wop is transitioning, so you know. I do not follow Lil Wop no more, so I do not know about Lil Wop pronouns. Salute to Shotty. But um yeah. Lil Wop has classics. I do not want to see them in drag. I'm sorry. That hey, is I mean, not that is not anti nothing either. It's just at first I thought it was at first I just thought he was doing it to do it, but I guess he's fully all in now. So hey, shout out to you. You proud, you live in um your truth. Um my, my whole thing is like people don't a lot of people don't get like some of the most hardest individuals don't give a fuck individuals on this earth are trans people. Yo, he don't give a fuck. <laughs> he had a following. He had a following. He had like somewhat something going off his music. He was like, you know what? Fuck y'all. I'm going to do what I want. I think Lil Wop is going to be fine in the future. You know. I mean, More like drop. Lil Top. All right. That was terrible. But yeah, the only thing I don't like about this is just like it kind of just leads to like massive hordes of like transphobia and stuff and i'm just like, oh, oh yeah I'm minding my business i ain't do nothing to nobody like he has the only that's the only thing i'm kind of like but i play i keep it low you feel me I, that's why i got a song look it's two ways you could play it but it's only one way they're gonna show you you feel me that's hey i get i get what you're saying though like he's He's a popular person that's that's transitioning, so it's like it kind of depending on where he goes with it, it's gonna either make the community look good or look bad or or you know make people look at it different. You know, I get it, I get it. Yeah. <coughs> so Shiki I haven't Red heard of him since the transition. I never heard that's of crazy. him. So what's, he, what um, song do he have? He was he's very he was very close with Trippy Red when they when Trippy Red first started blowing up. They had like a mixtape together uh, and shit. And then like he Lil Wop signed with Gucci and then Gucci just fumbled him basically. And then it's been quiet since to be honest. Who hasn't Yo, Gucci? You know, what's, you know what's crazy? When artists get out of these label situations, like and all their big press stops, it just makes you think that they go away. But these artists like not even just Lil Wop, like like Maul and Quill, like all those ten seventeen people, they've been dropping music after they like after they left. It's just it doesn't get the this. It's never gonna get the same amount of attention, unfortunately. The worst person Maul Gucci ever fumbled was crazy. Coach the Ghost. Mm. Maul and Quill. I thought he was talking about the podcasters for a second. I was like, what? Hey. I was like, I New Coach the Ghost. Maul they're looking at Gucci man. <laughs> Coach the Gu- Gucci man signed Coach the Ghost, bro. He did. Yeah, but he he did he did pop smoke, so then he let him go. The the new oh, Gucci shit. man is Cointel Pro. The new Gucci man is Cointel Pro. He's not the real Gucci man. The real Gucci man is still in jail. I'm gonna edit that out. Everybody he fucking signs nowadays gets locked up or killed, yo. I don't like it. It's fishy to me, but that's just me. That's I got tick. I got a TikTok brain. I'm sorry. Gucci. Everybody knows Gucci is selfish as hell. So he's never really there. Really, I don't think he's ever really there mentoring those artists like that. Gucci hey, made is Goku. Money, you grown. Hey, you got some money. You grown. You already had motion before I signed you, so you should know how to keep the motion going. But a lot of artists think, oh, I'm with Gucci now. Everything falls on Gucci and all kind of other shit. You know, Gucci has never. I don't want to say he's never been a good label head, but just the way he deals with like en- Enchanting's career and shit, like she should be like big, like Summer Walker. Like this shit don't make no sense. 
Like, it's no reason she should be dropping fucking albums. In the, in, in, on the artist part in Apple Music, it says Enchanting, comma, Gucci Mane. She don't need his name on the fucking pro- she, I don't know what <laughs> Atlantic is doing. Gucci Mane has never been that great of a CEO. And I feel like that's 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 just that's known. I love Enchanting, though. Shout out to Enchanting. Mm, good woman. <laughs> good woman right there. Very she better than... So. She better than that sexy red bitch. I'm tired of her. I'm not going to lie. That Booty That's Hole Brown song, that Booty Hole Brown song is a is a danger to our community, yo. I'm not, I'm not a child thugging with my rounds. If you, I mean, I understand selling sex, but I'm kind of just like, I'm kind of tired. Booty Hole her. Brown is crazy. Like, that's not even catchy. Wait, I, wait, I have a question. I have a question. Who are you taking down first, Sexy Red or Scarlet? Ah, uh, right. I don't even know who Scarlet is, so. Scarlet, the Murder girl I made this is the New York song. Oh, yeah. Oh, Scarlet? Oh, Scarlet, yeah. I'm taking Scarlet all the way. That's my queen right there. Don't make me play the song. Yeah, like, the whole sexy red thing, like, I'm so, I'm, like, so over, like, just, just, just music about sex in general, dog. Like, I didn't heard so much of that shit, like, throughout my whole life. I'm kind of just, like, <laughs> like, it, I'm just like, Women. okay, your coochie is pink and your boot, like, but, but what else? But what else? What, when's the last book you read? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even trying to be on that, but, like, I'm so, like, that shit does nothing for me. Like, it doesn't. And I don't want to, I don't, I'm not trying to discredit Sexy Red, because it takes some talent to get somewhere, you feel me? Like, she can flow. She can flow. You feel me? But her her subject matter really ain't my type of subject matter. Like, so I, if, I can't. If if No Name made that uh, Booty Hole Brown song, would it be different? If, <laughs> If the production was more interesting, I probably would have liked it. Imagine she made the booty hole brown song on a fucking Jay Dilla beat. That's crazy. Like I said, if the production was more interesting, I would I would enjoy it. But like, if Kanye uh, produced booty hole brown, I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Literally, the only person I listen to and they talk about fucking and their music is Psy Baby and myself. So. <laughs> I just I like I I can't do it no more. I can't I can't do it no more. <laughs> That's a great se- <coughs> segue. <laughs> <coughs> we just re- <coughs> recently got a new Saw Baby song on <coughs> on Friday. How you feel? <coughs> um, it's good. It seems like he just threw it out there just to see. Um. It's all like it's cool. Like of course he like I have to listen to it again, but I know it's some quotable quotables in there. I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna lead with love. Oh, is Justin not in here? My fault, yeah. I'm gonna lead with love. Sa baby, you are great. But you have five albums with only like two good singles yo pull up with a stick and breadhead are like his only successful singles to me like those are the only singles that actually hit to me so it's like he's very missed with these singles this song's gonna sound good what what are you gonna say i'll kick you again i'll kick you again talk shit bro that music video is just so iconic it wasn't oh, really oh, that sorry. The music video was iconic. You don't like pull that's up with an iconic music like video. Baby. That's it. That's what you're saying. No, pull up with a stick is my pull up with a stick is my favorite side baby song, but it got popular because the music video was crazy. You know, five year olds holding ARs. You know, it's crazy. That's my least favorite side baby song. I'm gonna be honest to y'all. Me too. I hate that song. Hey, that's I his like do it for demon. Kind of boring. I don't like. I don't like do it for demon either. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can see. I love Do It For Demon is too though. sad for me. I love, like, oh, that shit is just, that intro? Oh, man. Like, <laughs> I love the, R- the R. Kelly song you played for me wasn't that bad. But no, wait, the R. Wait, Kelly wait. song you played for me wasn't that bad. Do It For Demon got Bufalay on it, though. That song is hard as hell. 
That shit is hard as fuck. Be going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a couple of songs on there that are very sad. Like the one where he talks Crazy about demon. That shit. Crazy thoughts in my head. Fuck you, shooting as you scared. He was going stupid on that shit. Uh, I just, I don't know. That album is just, it's very like, like low energy. The album's very low energy. And you know me, I am a Barnacles truther. Barnacles is a 10 out of 10 perfect album. They wasn't in, they wasn't there when 100 Round Drum first came out. Oh my God. When 100 Round Round Drum. drum. 100 Round Drum. I need a 100 Round Drum. If y'all are listening to this podcast right now, stop the podcast right now. I'm giving y'all five seconds. And go listen to uh <laughs> and then you got you got my pocket's pregnant. Pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> no, 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 I've got a tongue pregnant. And you and his single for that album was Double Dick, and I hated that shit. I hated Double Dick. That song is ridiculous. Double Dick seemed like he was trying for like a like a mainstream. <laughs> that song was, like, was too freaky though. Like I, I, that's why, I, and that was a single for that shit. And I was like, "Yo, that's one." And then Breadhead was the single for the last one, but Breadhead was actually good. Yeah, I actually I like Breadhead. If Do It for a Demon was shorter, also, I feel like it would have been received a little bit better. Who? Like, I don't see how people can hate on Saw Baby, bro. Like he's just like a gunner to me. He's like a. I think he's like, mm, I'd rather just listen to Young Thug. He's better than Gunner to me. He's better than Young Thug to me. Oh my God! He's, he's oh better. my God! I, he, yes, he's oh, better than Gunner oh. and Young Thug to me also. Okay, Young Thug. Saying, I'm taking. You ever heard? Y'all ever heard the saying, "The student becomes the master." That's all I gotta say. Okay, oh, okay, that's okay. okay he's a Young ever. Thug. Okay, he's a Young Thug son, and he's gonna have that on his back forever. But the student becomes the master. Look, bro. That's even, all I got. Listen, 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 listen. Even even Justin lower that shit or I'm a kick. Even you. Thug doesn't have the amount of bars and shit that Saw Baby has in his songs. Like Saw Baby has a quotable like damn near every song. He be spitting bars. These bitches like, can't touch my butt. Saw Baby do not have better seven. flows than Gunner. Oh nah 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 yeah I'm a, I'm gonna agree with that obviously. Saw does the Saw Baby have a better song than Met Gala? Yes, I don't even remember that song, so yes. No, that's one of the greatest songs I've ever heard in my life. I don't think I, I've honestly, heard a song in the past decade that it made me feel like uh, when I first heard Purple Ape. I just feel like people give Gunna too much. Like, I feel, I've always felt like Gunna was a little bit overrated. Like, I never really, like, <coughs> I never understood the hype for it. He's Drake for people that wear tight clothes. Isn't that, uh, isn't that Drake? Yeah. Like, when I first heard Purple Ape, <laughs> when I first heard Purple Ape, I floated. I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard Yosemite, I floated. That mm. shit. And Gunna, Gunna was on some, that. Gunna do got some songs. He got a song called Martian that's really hard. When I it's first heard... Uh, Who are you fooling? Oh, my God. Sold out dates. Sold out dates. Catch every date. And in a way, I love the boo rape. He was going stupid on that shit. Uh, pat myself on the back real quick. Uh, huh, huh. Hey, I don't know how we got into this gun and saw baby debate, but if saw baby decides to drop, which he always be delaying his projects, yo. I don't know if it's him or his label, but when he decides to drop, I'm here. Day one, I'm here. I think he, for the most part, he's independent, but his publishing is with somebody big. I think. Like, I was gonna I think, like. His drops are through Create Music Group, and everybody knows Create Music Group is like a distribution company that's in Cali. And Didn't they, he uh, drop on a Monday? Yeah. I Kasher was going to say was that. Kasher Kwan was with Create Music Group for a while. That's, Jesus that's Christ. They're like, they're, they're like Empire, basically. That's I was going to say, if he... There is no way he signed to a major label if he's dropping on a Monday. Like He was just like, yo, here, ha- have this single. <laughs> You feel me? I'm here for it. As far as other new music, yo, it's been fucking, it's been ridiculous. Hey, we got we got a beat, we got a new B Love tape. That's all I need. All right, talk about it then, since that's your favorite rapper. 
What Sabery song is better if you know you know? Let's talk about it. We love really the goat. Goat of the samples. Oof. Oh my god. Okay, so here we I got a question for you. Was B Love without a sample? Damn, that's crazy. He still be free. He still be he still be spazzing though. Exactly. <laughs> it's a better it's a better question. Who's B Love without K Flock? We won't get to that. <laughs> you know, like what are all these drill rappers? Yo, these drill rappers. Un wait till they start getting sued. <laughs> wait till they start getting sued for all these samples they use it, bro. It's over, bro. Can we talk about Kai Sinat being on the Fast and Furious movie soundtrack? Oh, that, that. that was a terrible intro. He just yells. He just yells? I think it was terrible. He was just yelling, bro. That, that was shit. even, like, good for the movie. If they, if they play that for the movie, bro, that's gonna be corny. Imagine you see, imagine Vin Diesel mid racing. You just hear Kai send that voice, bro. I might, I might. What do they say I'm on saying. Roblox? I might oof myself. You know what's crazy? Oh, I've only, God. I've only seen pictures of bro. I don't know what he sounds like, and I don't want to know. What, can y'all hear this? Probably not. Y'all yeah, yeah, can't hear that, right? It's a test movie. Yeah, we I can't hear it. Big. Vin Diesel's talking about some. It's family. Of course it is. I'm not gonna lie. We went from racing to saving the Shit. whole entire world. Is there even a beat? He's just yelling. BTS. Just yelling, nice oh, up. all right. So I'm not gonna play the rest. <laughs> I thought a, I thought oh, a fucking yeah, shit. I thought a corny. Philly beat was gonna come on. I thought he was gonna get Humpty. <laughs> this Fast X soundtrack. The fact that we're going over a Fast and Furious soundtrack it tells you that there's no fucking new music out. But this Fast X soundtrack has Lil Durk, ESTG, Lil Tyler. Okay, hmm. it got Lil Tyler. Baby uh, G Herbo, Friday, Big X the plug. People sleep on Big X the plug. Young boy, but Young boy was on the eighth Fast and Furious soundtrack. They don't remember that. NLE Choppa, Kodak, Babyface, Babytron. What? Peasy? Yo, I thought this all was gonna be Xavier Wolf songs. Like this is crazy. It's complete opposite. Key Glock, Nardo Wick. Nardo Wick still trying to f find out what the fuck that was. All right, I stole that from Twitter. And then the oh rest of the God. songs at the end are all Spanish songs. That's crazy. Ooh, Gasolina remix. I'm here. No, there's a YG song with the notorious Biggie on there. Why didn't why YG get a song with Biggie before Timbaland? Let's talk about it. Hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> Oh no, there's a Suicide Boy song on here. All right, that's why we stopped talking about that. Yeah, they big time now. It's crazy. It's fucking disgusting, yo. Juicy J should have took all their money, bro. I never listened to their ass. I Bones did when better. they first started, and then I Bones turned fucking better. eighteen. No, I'm, playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I, hey, Bones got a couple of songs. I can't listen to a full, full Bones mixtape. I might. Uh... Nah, I was gonna say some wild <laughs> shit. He got my respect because he's from Michigan and he got the song with Rio. And ASAP, if that helps at all. <laughs> New I, Smoke I, Dizza. <laughs> I never really care for ASAP anything, really. Oh, we got a new Light Skin Keisha mixtape. All right. <laughs> uh, is there, is a, there a Coca Van Gogh feature on there? <laughs> how, the fuck we, how we got a new Chanks Drugs mixtape? That shit's probably AI. I'm gonna add it to my library anyway. All the songs gonna be one minute verses. Damn. Ain't no way they prop his body back up just to get. All right. <laughs> That's gotta be an AI mixtape. That's gotta be an AI. Oh, wait. Y'all check They the got chinks in the studio with sunglasses on holding his arms like this. All right. All right. Wait. Nick, y'all check, check the group chat. What y'all think about the logo flip? Bro, that's hard. Uh, new RMC mic. Oh, yeah, that tape is hard as hell. I'll listen to it, but I'm not going to critique it. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a Sada Baby verse where he doesn't say anything for the second half. Like, beat the pussy up. <laughs> like, speaking of chamomile tea, RMC Mike needs that shit, yo. RMC <laughs> Mike needs something, bro. RMC Mike, he lost his voice when he was 10, yo. That shit never came back, yo. He'd be like, my voice always sound like this. Does he have a track with Jada Kiss? Oh, chill out. 
I'll Don't put that into see, existence. I want to see more of the Detroit rappers like rap on like like beats like that and shit. Like RMC Mike and Alchemist, hey bro. Jada Kiss on a uh, on an energy beat is making my stomach hurt. I got so much energy. <laughs> he might go crazy. That's kind of his temp. That's kind of his tempo. That's kind of that's kind of his tempo. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, we Soon got Alonzo pull up. We talking about all kind of shit. We got <laughs> we got a uh, new K Trinata and Amine. Justin, Amine. Oh, that think... that shit was tough. You thought oh, it was right. better that than was No tough. Worries. It was hard. I'm Man. about to kick all y'all out. <laughs> Talking about some Amine is hard. All right, some of know. the songs was hard. They had a Spready Gibbs. Uh, they had a couple, there. yeah, but Spready Gibbs. Really <laughs> Spready Gibbs is the craziest nickname ever, yo. Yo, who in the middle of war right now? That's not me. Oh, that's Jamal. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry, Jamal. I had to mute you for a second. Motherfucking the Hellcat right now on the pod. <laughs> um, that Mormon Church AC not working. All right. Uh, that Spready Gibbs shit is crazy, bro. Like they're making both. They're his girl and him are making each other look fucking stupid. They both look like idiots, just oversharing on the internet. Like, do I really want to see a picture of one of my favorite rappers' booty holes? No. That's why you keep your business private, bro. <laughs> bro, NDA, bro. You can't Let trust a bitch with. Oh, it's <laughs> gonna get me out the paint for this. You can't trust a bitch with no hair, yo. I swear to God. That's they gonna kill me for that. They gonna kill me for that. <laughs> I can't uh, agree nor disagree with that one. All right, so now we're gonna get into some fucking crazy topics. So Jonathan Majors, uh. Next. Nah, nah. <laughs> next, Jamal said next. Hey, yo, Chloe, I see. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. Rock them sock and robots with a white woman is nuts. She said, "We figured you got to pay for that, bro." <laughs> hey, he's dating Megan Good now, so maybe he learned his lesson. It's all good. It's all good. I hey. don't know. I'll, that shit is such a touchy subject that I'm just like, all right, whatever happens, happens. Like, when I hear about it, I'll hear about it. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know if dude is a good actor or not. <laughs> nah, his, he's got he one. Snapped. He's got one that's crazy. But after all this stuff, if it comes out, people are going to be like, oh, he was just acting like himself. Like, it is a crazy movie. So, Jamal saying he got an unreleased movie that was at Sundance Festival of him acting like a complete dickhead in the movie. That's his role, and... He was a, a like, incel slash bodybuilder stan of, like, other bodybuilders. And he has, like, temper issues. And Dude, that movie was squat. crazy. That Chris Benoit roid raid. Yeah, yeah. It, it basically is that. Like, it gets to the point where he, like, starts buying guns and stuff and then it oh, has like shit. that joker moment where you don't know if it's real or not because the dude's just off so much stuff so it's pain and gain part two as you're telling me basically yeah. pain and gain part two that mark Wahlberg movie with the rock y'all remember that that movie was fire bro that movie's funnier than Step Brothers, justin <laughs> you need to tap in all right bro you i don't understand stop. why people hate pain and gain I don't know. That movie is hilarious, but uh, I don't remember much about it. So let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> yo, a lot. Yo, Jamal, I was telling Justin that uh, Step Brothers is overrated earlier. Step uh, Brothers top five comedies. It's just a bunch of old men cursing and being fucking immature. Yeah, like okay. it was funny. I feel like it was Pete and to back where then, to where super bad is the complete opposite about young men trying wait, to wait, mature wait, themselves. Wait, 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 what wait. You can I say, can what I say something real about? quick? Can I say something real quick? Blades of Glory is just Step Brothers but better and with ice skating. Mm. All right, you if lost. You want to see? Then. If you want to see? No, 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 no. If it's the same concept. I right, kick me out. Fighting, like, come on now. 
Blaze of Glory a classic, man. I don't care what Kick nobody out, say, crazy. man. Blaze of Glory is a classic. That's one of them ones. You know what's a classic that's up there? Didn't they sing like, Yo, like uh, funeral, Black Eyed Peas in that movie? Five. That one was pretty funny. That's how the um, funeral's not it. But yeah, Super Bad is peak though. Peak fucking. No, comedy. the first thirty minutes is good, but the the what? Well, McLovin? What are you, an Irish R and B singer? <laughs> Man, hey, seeing Super Bad at like seven, that shit changed my life. Bro. I was I was eleven years old. That shit that shit made me the man I am today. Bro, I did yard work to save up for a PSP, and it came with a bundle of Super Bad and God of War. It was a red PSP. That's crazy. And like, I saved up like all summer, and then at the end of it, I had bought. That and I I didn't know what the movie was and then I watched I was like yo this is crazy and then my my life changed. I didn't know what a period was until I seen that movie. <laughs> I'm like, why is he freaking about some blood on his leg? Like, what happened? <laughs> See, all right, you know his, you know that whole room stank, bro. <laughs> yo, when they had Michael Sarah singing, that whole yo his. Yo, that whole his leg was smelling like house keys after that dance from that bitch. His leg was smell like pain. Nah, what? <laughs> the whole first twenty minutes was great when they were in high, they're in school. His leg was that smelling was like Burger King lettuce. All right. <laughs> the dance, well, bro, hey. the dance when bro was when they got all fucked up on cocaine and they made Michael Sarah sing. That was great. <laughs> but hey, Twenty One Jump Street is better than both. So. Oh, I could put 21 Jump Street up there. That's one of them ones right there, yo. 21 yeah. Jump Street is better than yeah. Super Bad. 21 Jump Street in and any way. So 21 and 22 are the same level of funny, and I'm going to die on that hill. I actually like, never watched 22. Yo, 22 Jump, 22 Jump Street is almost better as 21 Jump Street, which is really? tough. Like, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's Come up on, you never it. seen that? Nah, dude. I, I think like I was like super busy at the time or something. <laughs> He had work that day. It's like he can never see Yo, it again. Wait, you can only watch it once. No, I like forgot about it. I remember. I remember when Soup um Twenty Two Justy and both you Nick and my older brother watched it, and my mom had to take me to Transformers, and I was so mad because I wanted to see Twenty Two Justy, and I snuck in real quick, and it was at the football scene, but then I went back to watch Transformers. Yo, so I was so mad. That was with uh, Redacted Franco's little brother. <laughs> redacted Dave Franco. Franco. Yeah, I'm not talking about the other Franco, the one that be messing with the 14 year olds. Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. Out of he, here. he had a movie called Palo Alto where he's a coach and he gets with one of the students. He got a movie where he was sucking dick. All right. For real. Next topic. Uh, that's real, by the way. That's real, by the way. Um, hey, man. Fast and Furious come out Friday. Mm. You know me. I'm going to be there day one. You know what's crazy? I seen the post credit scene to the movie four days ago before I even seen the movie. That's that's foul. I hate the internet. I literally hate the internet, bro. But then you search it up? I did search it up. <laughs> and I did scroll through YouTube. And I did put the thing in the settings where it's like, look at the videos from the last hour. <laughs> I definitely camped out for that shit, but I seen it and I'm satisfied. Yeah. What do they say in wrestling? I'm sports entertained. Yo, did that new Transformers come out too? Nah, that don't come out till like July. Okay. I think or June or June. That shit look good too. There's a whole shitload of movies this year that just be looking stupid, bro. <laughs> that they Wes Anderson stupid. movie looks really good. What's he talking about, Jamal? I don't remember what it's called, but I think Isn't it's it like uh, Nowhere or something? Good. I forget what it's it like is. It's like something. But they got like mad actors. They got like 20 A-list actors. No, that's how most of his movies um, are. Then sometimes like they just have like one tiny part in it. Let me look up his filmography, bro. It's probably all ass. It's really didn't art. He, didn't he make uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's my shit. I love it. Wait, is he the one that made the French, the French Dispatch? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the French crazy. Dispatch, Boo Boo, Grand Budapest Hotel, Boo Boo, Fantastic Dang. Mr. Fox, Boo Boo, Isle of Dogs, Bruh. Boo Boo, Moonrise Kingdom, a... Boo Boo, Fantastic Mr. Fox. They was literally robbing and hitting lick. Like <laughs> that animation creeped me out as a kid. 
I was not watching that World War II animation. You didn't like George, James and the Giant Peach? No. Dang. People probably Google. got scared when he seen that. <laughs> I was watching like Nightmare on Elm Street when I was a kid. Uh. <laughs> I was watching Requiem at, for a Dream at, at six. Wow. <laughs> that was your ghost. <laughs> That bitch was taking a double-ended dilsey at the end of the movie in front of Isn't some that, businessmen. That's the same director remember that? as The Whale. Really? Yeah. Requiring oh, I forgot you. about that. The Whale was fucking ridiculous, yo. <laughs> the Whale was ridiculous. My my 600-pound life, the movie. Bro, that, that ending credit scene was hilarious. There's an end credit scene? Or I guess just the ending. Oh, the ending where he just <laughs> floats up into the sky? Yeah. yeah. So stupid, bro. <laughs> he took yeah, the... I just lost it, bro. Yo, I almost <laughs> made an Isaiah Rashad joke, but I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> yo, that I all right. I I tweeted about the other day that Isaiah Rashad shit. Yo, all his white fans were blowing that shit out of proportion. Pray for his mental health. We need to pray for him. He was just giving top of you. He all right. He'll be fine. <laughs> I'm editing right. that out, by the way. I'm literally editing that out. So, <laughs> what is it? 46 you minutes, be, 12 I, seconds. Ca- <laughs> no, amp- like hell about edits. Amp- no, I edited two minutes out of the last episode due to the amps request. I swear on everything. <laughs> even I even edited out the video version, too. I even Real edited editing. out the video version, Real too. Editing. I had to. We were saying some wild shit about that Pop Smoke movie. Yo. We're about to react to the radio movie, too. Uh, Coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> we're reacting to I always want to see it. It's free on YouTube. It is? YouTube, yeah, yo. I think I want to watch that. I might watch that later. Hey, man. We back on that shit. Episode 82. We got it. Um, before we get out of here, you know. We discuss everything basically, movies, music, video, not video games, and eh, low key video games. Anything that y'all like? Is there anything that y'all waiting for this year? Like movie, music, TV, something <laughs> that y'all just been, that y'all just been just, yo, where is this shit at? I'm a, I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna start with a Jay Z album, but that's just been the last five years for me. Man, free K Flock. All right. So you movies. just want K Flock to be free? Movies and TV. Yeah. Movies, no, TV, uh, music, so anything. Just anything you just you just waiting for. That you've What's been that movie for. called? The Martin Scorsese one. I'm waiting for the next. I'm waiting for the next. Um, I'm waiting for the next DC animated feature. Okay. I want to see where I want to see where they go with this ne- with this new generation. Because they're old. Oh, all, that flash like looks good. Like DC animation, when it comes to when it comes to feature length films, are usually like a lot better than their main movies. So, I hope that I hope that trend can keep going into the into the next decade. <coughs> like the Wonder the Wonder Woman animated one was so far. Like I couldn't believe it. Like I'm like damn. Like and they made the trash ass movie like that. It was like you know what DC got to get it together. <coughs> You know what's crazy? They started making those animated movies rated R. I'm like, yo, hey, go all really, in. Go yeah. all in. <laughs> they for real be rated R. After I seen that, the Invincible, <clears throat> the Invincible show, I was like, yeah, go all in, bro. Do things with animation that you can't do in a physical movie, bro. Right. Just do it. Make fucking Dark Side get ripped in half, yo, by the legs. Pause. Yeah. Like I'm like I'm a big I'm a big animation fan. Like that's my main shit. Like anything what's, pertaining anything pertaining to cartoons, like that's all me. What's the cartoon, yo? What's the cartoon coming out? What's the name of oh, it? <laughs> no, it's not George. Season one, ten days, and then it's on Tubi later this summer. It's yeah. in it's coming out in ten days? Yep. I I wait, let me see. Yeah, I'm about to wrap up episode one after I'm done with after I'm out of here, so yeah. Wait. So you have one episode already? Or you have the whole season? I got the whole season written. 
But oh, so you about a South Park it, yo? Hell yeah, that's how I it's, make music. <laughs> that motherfuckers was making. They was literally making the episodes every week. Like they and would the, drop one and just go to the studio the next day and just. And the thing is, like with my shit, it's more based off of narrative, so the visuals don't really. I ain't gonna say they don't matter. There's gonna be some funny ass visuals, but <laughs> yeah, it, I could. It's, it's a lot of things I could do. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be on there doing the soundtrack, like when somebody walks in. <laughs> Whenever I make a joke, it's like. Oh, right. <laughs> I will, I, I'll, I'll get a spoiler. I'll get a season one spoiler. There is an episode with a live audience, and they end up getting held up at the end of the episode. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that too? That's chill that's, out, chill out, chill out. It don't go the, like that. It oh, like that. it's not like yeah. the end of the Joker. No. Does it go like this? Uh, All right. Hey. I just Something I haven't like used that sound in mad long. Hey yo, what? Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm tapped in. I told you I want to play a bottle of adobo. Can I voice a bottle of adobo? That's me. The first the first episode is about like they make a house call to him and they're like, I need your help real bad. And you get to the house, you gotta help him open up a jar of peanut butter. But the story unfolds from there. It gets crazy. I can see where it goes with that. It sounds like some uh some unhinged comedy, yo. Yeah, I, I can tell how it ends. Can it Justin is. be on there voicing a no, drill? No, y'all not. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. <laughs> Season one, no, it's not George. YouTube, the Drench Network, Tubi, this summer. That's all I can say. Justin's, <laughs> Justin's on episode four voicing a pair of Amiris. Whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> because my son is a movie. All right. Why you want to be CJ so bad, Justin? Because I'm starting a record label. I'm signing drill rappers. All right. They have to have two bodies, though. ET Come on. Records. <laughs> Not, it's 917 records. All right. That was terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, Yo, I'm trying here, bro. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. What you talking about? Hey, man. Justin. I'm about to buy the South Park game right now. Play that did we record? Did we record after the Knicks got eliminated? Oh, don't even talk about my. Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> you say you're smoking on my Knicks because that be your last blip? Oh my god! Yo, but, but Fabio Nick- Foreign did to this generation. <laughs> you talk about Fabio Foreign like he Kanye or something. He really He's is. That City of God song still on my playlist. Yeah. You talk about the Alicia Keys one? That shit was terrible. Yeah, that shit, that shit is so crazy. Yo, Alicia Keys do got bangers, though. Didn't she get, like, one of those off-white cars and uh, she just never yeah. picked it up? What? Yeah, she did. Swiss B's got that car. I really just be like, it's my car, but it's ours. <laughs> Yo, she took Swiss Beats from his wife, so she's a Rest great a, woman. Rest in peace, Virgil, but... I think he could have did a better better color combo than that. That shit looked like a Oh shit. That shit like a roller. <laughs> Y'all know the candy. Virgil was colorblind. At it point. At it point. <laughs> hey. It was it was over for him after he made those white socks hats with the bullet holes in them. You remember that shit? Like all right, bro. Yo, the shark bite at the end, that's crazy. I bought 10. High fashion. But he also did a lot of cool shit, like the free Keith t shirts. Like, that was the Pop Smoke album cover. Oh my God. Because of him, him, I won my first pair of shoes off sneakers. That, yo. Wait, huh? My first pair of shoes off sneakers were shoes I didn't even want. (laughs) I had my first pair of sneakers, probably the Shaq Easy's. I've never bought a pair of shoes off an app. <laughs> That's uh, have I? I, I, can't, I can't. I don't think do so. I don't think I don't think I've ever what? paid for like more than one thirty for shoes. Keeping it a buck. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it a buck thirty. Aha! Uh-huh. Yeah. Fuck y'all! I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all week. DVDs at the counter. 
ten dollars a piece. Um, <laughs> new sneakers, nah. I don't feel like. Hey, we could pull up that Sachi TikTok. <laughs> hey, why are y'all? Sneakers. Why are y'all buying reps? To end all conversations, all conversations. The drench runners come out on next Wednesday. We got limited pairs, so get you one. Get you a pair. They come in a nice box. We got a nice package and all that. And you might get a free t shirt. They you never know. The same day as the cartoon? Five days before the cartoon. I'm going crazy this whole month. Yeah, I was about I got to shit. say, yeah. Yeah. I'm Shows, really trying. Cartoons, clothes, shoes. Like, Jesus. <laughs> I'm really trying to show people I do it all. Because motherfuckers, been pl- they be playing with me. <laughs> that is wild. Got everything. Drench season. <laughs> That's gonna be a drop. Hey, I might have to clip that. The rest of the people, the rest of the people my age, too busy in the club and shit. So, oh, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. What I'm, that's just why, while everybody else is in the club doing whatever they do, I'm in the cut working. You feel me? As always. Chloe sound like an old head. <laughs> I don't mean, bro. I don't be meaning to sound like that, but like, I already, like, I already been there, done that. With like, man, like, I didn't live so many different lives already. Like this shit. Hey, it's drench season. Like I said. It's- it's drench season. We we always wet out here. All right, that sounded ridiculous. <laughs> that was not good. That was definitely at a point. Um, Jamal, you heard about that movie Air? How you feel about it? Uh, I've heard mixed reviews, and then I heard that like they only show whoever plays Michael Jordan. They do the thing where they only show like half of his face or something. Oh, uh, they do the Wizard Kelly. They just show the yeah. jersey up. <laughs> yeah. That sucks, bro. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to watch this at all. Because I was thinking of giving it a chance. But I was like, Man. they couldn't just cast it- Anthony Edwards with a bald cap? Like, damn. Isn't it Hold like him. an NBA sponsored movie, too? Oh, <laughs> Yo, Talladega <laughs> Night Saying is a great movie. Michael Jordan really changed the sneaker game. Ben Affleck an overrated actor. <laughs> Very much so. I'm like, old, bro. Everything under- overrated. No, no, I don't understand how people could say that's their favorite Batman. Like some people on other <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's choking. <clears throat> I hate all the Batman movies except for the Christian Bale ones. Nah, Robert Pattinson was crazy. Yeah, I like the new I like Batman Pattinson. was the best in Batman. Yeah, I yeah, fuck yeah. with Robert Pattinson for real. He might be he, he might be my Batman. I don't care. Real. That's he's the old Batman for me. He's a spoiled brat. Uh, he didn't want Batman is. He did not. I went to the theater, bitch. What you talking about? And I <laughs> fell asleep during the <laughs> movie. <laughs> hey, they was in the club fighting. I was like, hey. the only scene I liked in that movie was when the Hellcat turned on. It's he crazy. was getting his ass whooped, and all you hear was, and then you see his car in the corner. I was like, "Damn!" They should have shown that, like in the uh, trailer. I feel like, um, the car scene was cool. Shout out yeah. to Millie on Twitter for putting the young nudie song nah, over that. The, for real. the funeral, the funeral scene was great. That was cool. Oh, the, yeah. the one that they fucking I mean, put fuck. on, the one that they put on. YouTube as a whole ass ad like a month before the movie. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel about that shit, bro. Just DC movies in general to me is just like, uh... yeah, that's that new Flash like. movie looks good. The trailer when I when I went to go see Guardians and they showed the Flash trailer. Oh my god, that shit looked great. That Blue Beetle looked better, yo. Blue the Blue Beetle trailer looked better than the Flash. I'm not gonna lie to you. Superman, uh, actually, Superman is a woman in the Flash movie, so. Hashtag not my Superman. They need what? to put, they, listen, listen they need to put Superman on ice in general. Nobody gives a fuck about Superman or anything Superman related. Where's put Static Shock on at? Ice for 10 years and then come back uh, yeah. out with Superman. Like, we I, need a Static Shock movie. We, we need something else from DC. No, Lobo. We need, more, we need more variety from DC. Like, ugh. I could talk about this for days. Like this shit. The yeah, that's his movie went triple Campbell's. cardboard. <laughs> All right. That's his movie went triple cardboard. Yo, um, I did not watch that Shazam movie. I probably will never watch it. 
Michael B. Jordan producing Static Shock movie for Warner Bros. Bro, they announced that like four years ago. So it's probably, uh, yeah, I probably ain't doing it no more. <laughs> my, son, yo, my son finna have kids before the Blade movie come out, yo. <laughs> they, no, 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 they just started shooting it not too long ago. Marshmallow Ali finna be 83. He finna be Wesley Snipes age before Ali. that shit come out. <laughs> I can't say his name, yo. I'm not trying to butcher it either. <laughs> He's old as hell already. Marshmallow Ali. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that Blade movie, that shit got delayed three times. They announced that movie in 2019, bro. That is Damn. crazy. Imagine being on the back burner of Marvel for six years, for not six years, like five years straight. Like, that's, that's sad, yo. He hasn't done a project since, bro. Didn't, didn't he, like, request for it to be rewritten, too? Cause it was yeah, cool. they're mm-hmm. on their third director or second director, if I'm not mistaken. That's real, though. Yeah, I don't blame him for that. Gotta yeah, it must right. have been ass then. The first one must have been ass ass because that director was there for like a week, bro. It probably was. It probably was. Shit, it was terrible. They probably had Blade doing the whipping the nene in the script, and he was like, "Oh hell no!" They're like, "Lil Uzi's gonna be your sidekick in this movie." <laughs> They're like, he's probably gonna steal all your shine, so That's you better come with it. <laughs> hey, Cardi. rappers do not be in movies like how they used to be. That's for real. Actually, I just seen White Man Can't Jump and Vince Not, Staples. You like, know what uh, I mean. Jack <laughs> Harlow. Not like, you know what I mean. Oh, no, I was about to say, I said Vince Staples before Jack Harlow. Oh. He was like a, a supporting but cast in that There's It's shit. more few and far between than it was in like the 2000s. Everybody was in movies. And Jalou. to be honest, to be honest, Jack Harlow is going to be on his lick, little dicky shit. Like, he was acting too good in that movie. He not rapping again, bro. I don't know. He not rapping again, yo. He on his little dicky shit. We'll that see shit. What happens. I gotta finish the movie first, to be honest. I have like at least forty five minutes left. But yeah. So were you or were you not an extra? No, I didn't make it. I wasn't athletic enough. I did have the clothes though. I was flying though. I was flying enough to be in it. They had Vince Naples wearing mismatched Jordans. I was like, ugh. Yo. Mismatched shoes is weird. Like, why are you wearing a white Air Force and a black Air Force? Like, With we get right it. the outfit, it could look cool. <laughs> if we could dress like an Oreo. Uh, That's crazy. All right, we might have to wrap this soon. I got to be in a Smasher Pass video in like an hour or so. Oh, you know I'm going to be in a Blind Data video. Oh, God, bro. <laughs> Can we pull up Justin's <laughs> boxing fight? Can we watch Justin get beat Oh, up? yeah, pull it up. <laughs> Yo, I don't have the link. I get beat up. I won that. I'll Justin, DM me the link to it real quick. <laughs> uh, react that shit got 2K views. I'm boxing him again for the part two. Did they said you ask for your royalties yet? <laughs> I should. I was about to say, did you get paid for this fight? <laughs> Fuck no. Nico, you need a commentate on this like Joe Rogan oh the wrong button my bad wrong button I can't even stop it I can't even stop it I just gotta let it play now I can't even stop it because if I hit it again it's gonna play it again uh ha I'm not from Yo. the south but hey I feel it Amp, Amp wasn't fucking with this sound last time <laughs> he said that shit was sounding racial Last episode, that I was like, sound, no, it it's just somebody, somebody getting whipped. It sound, <laughs> it's a slap sound, yo. That shit sound like roots. Ow. You need to get right. the Mortal Kombat uh, sounds. Oh, like- that gunshot sound, that gunshot sounds like the beginning of Ether, bro. That should be killing me. I'll be waiting. Fuck Jay Z. Oh, you been on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Where's Justin hey, shit at? Hey, y'all ever seen the picture with Nas with the toe in his mouth? Yo! Put that, that up, I'll make it to cover. 
Oh, I got shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Nas with the blade, uh, mohawk. <laughs> it's not actually Nas. Nah, this is what it looks like. Ah. Uh... Wait, no. It actually might be. Nobody knows, but it's a big ass. Foot. It's a big ass foot, and I, I, it might actually be him. Just like that picture of what was it, Ti or something like that, like stripping. No, or was the it the game? game? That was yeah. real. That was real. I don't know. Yeah, he worked at a oh, stepdad's no. club back in the day. I wish I had the camera on sound on here. What? Justin, what's the babysitter? Oh, that's still a great movie. Justin be watching Netflix movies all the time. Netflix that's why is I like such you. An unserious app. That's why I like you people so much. What do you mean, you people? I was dying when they made that um, people in Paris joke. Come on, Justin. That's been a Twitter joke since 2012, bro. I was crying. That shit was not funny. They added Ted to Netflix. Oh, yeah. It's, it's around 12 it minutes. Let me see something. Oh, yeah, let me see something. There's no... Oh sound. I don't know why that sounds like I don't know, Jake. I don't know, Jake. It's freezing. We only got 20 seconds left. Oh! 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 Connected, Jake. We're connected. Let me see something. Get in there. Get in there. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hit him with the counter right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They need about two more rounds. Nah, yeah, from now on, we doing two 30-second rounds. Oh, yeah. Seesaw. Back in the front. Seesaw. Back in the front. Seesaw. Yo. Oh, shit. Y'all sure? Oh, shit. Let me see some. Oh, shit. I was so gassed. That is so gassed. Hey. 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 He did a drinking move. Oh, yeah. He tight. He tight. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Mm -hmm. He's not ready. He's not ready. He's not ready. No, nope. he's not ready. That was so he good. Not he was gonna knock that one off. Uh, he's not ready. He's tight. Nah, that's the. He's not ready. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Right here. That's it. 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 Justin is fighting one of his friends. If that wasn't somebody that was your friend, you probably would have went harder on him. I'm not gonna lie. I know. Damn. Yeah. It was gas. I was gas. Yeah, you don't and, fuck with next time. And everyone was smoking. That shit was hurting my lungs. I left right after that fight. <laughs> grabber. That shit whooped your ass. Hot grabber. That's crazy. Oh fuck! I just dropped my phone. Um, if y'all want to see that, uh, full reaction, go on my YouTube at Nico Still Apex. And, hey, I think that's been another one for y'all. Head Top, episode 82. We tweaking and geeking. Um, oh, my God. Tweaky, tweaky. <laughs> what they say in the beginning of that Homicide Gang album? All right, I'm going to stop talking about <laughs> Yo. Boingy, boingy. Oh, wait, my bad, my bad. <laughs> They said, so they said when you got about. they said when y'all got school all right all right yeah, that's crazy hey chloe got a cart what's that hey hey don't that's worry a babe? About, don't worry about what, hey look Sal vallejo california but don't worry about it. yo worry. yo you got your shit from a google employee hey look hey y'all know hey 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 <laughs> My shit, my shit on the floor right now. <laughs> I don't know where that shit went, but hey. Episode 82, y'all. It's your boy at Nico Still SFS. SFS, SFS. Nico Still SFS. Follow me everywhere. You know the vibes. Hit my theme music. <laughs> Follow me on Twitch at Nico Still Apex. And then if y'all want to see the full video. Yeah. Oh, shit. That is not my theme music. My fault. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if y'all want to see the full video episodes, we drop them the next day. Um, I've been dropping the last two the next day after, so subscribe to my YouTube. We almost have 500 subs, so yeah. 500 subs. And yeah, at Nico Sol SFS on YouTube. I mean, at Nico Sol Apex on YouTube. God damn, I need to stop smoking. Y'all got anything to outro? We're going to start with Chloe. 
Uh, at Chloe Hotline on Twitter, at Chloe Hotline twenty seven hundred on IG. Counterfeit Industries drop uh the twenty fourth T shirt, shoes, a few other things. Jewel Sans orders is getting shipped out. Ne- okay, so this is how this is how it's structured. I do a drop, and then the next drop. That gets shipped out. You feel me? So we do it like that. You know, the next one, boom. You feel me? We got to pay it forward like that, and that's how we keep it going. Um, No, it's not George, the animated series. Ten days, ten days, ten days. May 29th on the Drench Media YouTube channel. And I got to holla at my film distributor so we could be on Tubi in time for the summer. So that's pretty much it. It's big ETL Justin. I'm signing three drill rappers to 360. You know, so hit my line. I'm gonna get y'all right. I got ops for you. I got ops for you. That's for you. Free K Flock. Yeah, I hit the wrong one for K Flock. (laughs) (laughs) Jamal, how you feeling? Uh, I'm gonna be in the bay till the 24th. Uh, I'll be at Levi's uh, pop up on Sunday, uh, doing Ooh. meet and greets. Hit me up. Levi's, okay, okay. Levi jeans. Jeans. <laughs> Levi jeans. The Levi jeans. Levi jeans. You, you gotta play that though. <laughs> That's the name of this episode. Levi jeans. <laughs> Levi juice box clean. jeans. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Levi juice box jeans. <laughs> That's crazy. You about to meet uh you about to meet uh Brett Favre? Yeah. <laughs> God, oh wait, no, that's shit. Shit. Yeah, that's Wrangler. I was about to say <laughs> Hey yo, I searched up Levi jeans, it's just a, a fucking white guy in a cowboy hat showing his ass. Bro, what? Yeah, that was that was very suspect. Jamal said to play it, so I'm going to just play this real quick, and we're going to end it with that. Shout out to everybody for pulling up, episode 82. I got a PSP best investment I made in a long time. Um, <laughs> this is a YouTube short, so it's probably going to be different. <laughs> Your chances are far to you found <laughs> I know that's how paperwork Levi Sam used to dress jeans. in high school. Karate, karate, karate trust. <laughs> Not the acid rap logo on the bottom of the uh, the profile picture. How y'all feel about acid rap? Ten years later since it dropped, acid rap. What are y'all Some thoughts? Songs. Don't hold up as well as others, and that's all I'm gonna say. It was ass. I miss yeah, my rap. cocoa butter kiss. Hey, shout out to Twister for being on that. What was the other one? Took off my shoes, trip acid in the rain. My umbrella <laughs> as a cape, and my color as a stain. <laughs> I can't believe I ever listened to that lame mess. <laughs> I got twerked on in front of my wife. Now I feel pain. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, it sounded good when I was in high school. So, hey, man, episode 82, we out. Shout out to everybody. Scoot.